Hello, this video explains the alarm pop-up display using the Melsoft GT designer from Mitsubishi. Hello, welcome back. This is Gerd Zeller of Zeller Press Control Systems with the second video about the alarm display. And in this video, I will just explain to you the alarm pop-up pop -up display down here in the lower in the lower section of the screen and how this is done I will just show you all right so basically it's done pretty fast um, what you have to do you want to go to the uh, alarm pop-up display in your project tree under the tab project right in this uh, section here double click on that and then you have a um, selection where you can check use alarm pop-up display and if I check this then we will have several um, choices to display this um, alarms the one is the multiple so we get in in this case we get all the um, existing alarms displayed in the lower corner or displayed in the lower section of the screen and the display type you can also choose between fixed and flow and this we can um, change accordingly in this video and that's the first thing you need to check on and the second thing is in the user alarm observation there is also a small um, square that needs to be checked in order to have the pop-ups alarms active all right so that's already it and if i just start the simulator you will see the fault messages um, displaying down here in the lower section of the screen and they will show all the fault messages which are actually existing right now so this is the fault number one the 12 the 11 and the 2 and if we go over to the fault message screen we can also see the four fault messages displayed on here so this is the first thing and in addition to this I put this um, back to the previous screen in which I can just show you real quick that's this uh, screen right here and you can find this in the object on the switch go to screen switch and I just put this on here just like the other one and then I just marked the back the previous history so you just go one screen back and that's I just wanted to show you and let's just delete that and um, for the next thing on the pop-up display we can choose only the one and I think then there will be only the last one existing um, fault displayed and if I have to stop the simulator first and then start it again and then we will see on what the difference is yeah see now there is only the last active fault shown and then there is one more choice that you can use and that's not the fixed one that's the flow and the flow rate i will make it high because it's very slow and we will make the multiple choice again and also start the simulator and then you will see it's flowing from left to uh, from right to left through here uh, because i made it fast now it's maybe a little bit hard to read but you can see it 
how it gets displayed and this will be displayed in every existing screen on the system whatever screen is called it will be displayed and that's already it for the alarm pop-up display in the Melsoft GT Designer 3 from Mitsubishi. Thank you for watching and bye bye.